second chapter of this web-based training, you learn about the functional principle of the SITOP PSU 8600 power supply system. After working through this chapter, you should be able to configure a PSU 8600 independently. The flexibly expandable SITOP PSU 8600 power supply system ensures that automation components in machines or plants are supplied reliably with direct current, usually 24 volts. What does this mean for the users in industry? The SITOP PSU 8600 power supply system is outstandingly well integrated into the Siemens automation environment. This includes, in particular, full integration into totally integrated automation. This saves time and cuts costs when carrying out engineering in the tier portal, for example. Integrated Ethernet, Profinet communication enables optimal integration into existing automation applications. SITOP PSU 8600 is efficient. The compact basic unit with an efficiency level of 94% ensures low thermal losses. Thanks to individual parameterization of the outputs, other voltages such as 12 volt or 15 volt can also be provided. During operation, the current and voltage values of all outputs are detected and they can be switched on and off selectively via Profi Energy. Direct integration into energy management systems is also possible. Depending on requirements, other modules can be added from the modular system with no extra wiring effort for further outputs or for buffering brief power failures, for example. SITOP PSU 8600 is absolutely reliable. All outputs have integral overload protection with an individually adjustable current threshold and they are monitored selectively. In the event of a short circuit or overload, the affected output is selectively shut down. As the voltage and current of each output are constantly captured and transferred via Profinet, early detection of dynamic, continuous or increasing overload states is possible. A resulting plant outage can thus be avoided. In the case of brief power failures, system integrated buffer modules come into play. Ideal protection particularly for sensitive production areas. In other words, early detection and elimination of faults initiation of preventive maintenance and avoidance of plant outages. All in all, this means SITOP sets a new standard in terms of integration, plant reliability and efficiency. The PSU 8600 System Integrated Power Supply System can be fully integrated into totally integrated automation and thus into the tier portal. The next lesson shows you the engineering of the PSU 8600 in the tier portal using a sample project. The initial situation is as follows. A project has already been created in the tier portal. An S7-1500 controller with the CPU-1516 has already been configured on the hardware side. The following steps take you through the configuring via the following sequence. Starting with the installation of the hardware support package, Continuing with the insertion and parameterization of the PSU 8600 in the tier portal, assigning a device name, and finally downloading the parameters. Open the tier portal software. The current version of the hardware support package must be loaded into the tier portal if the PSU 8600 has not yet been integrated. This can be downloaded free from the Siemens online support website. You will find the selection of support packages under the menu command Tools. A dialog box opens with a selection of locally stored support packages. Let us assume that the installation package of the PSU 8700 is not yet available locally and that you have to load it into the tier portal. Use the Add from File System button for this purpose. Find the corresponding support package that you previously downloaded from the support site and saved on your PC and open it. The uploaded package is now visible in the list. Select the package and click Install. Follow the installation instructions by clicking Continue. Complete the installation by clicking Finish. Make sure to then restart the tier portal to avoid errors in execution. On the right hand side of the tier portal window, the selection
Sitop PSU 8600 power supplies appears within the hardware catalog under Power Supplies. The PSU 8600 can now be inserted in the current project. We are now starting the second engineering step, inserting the PSU 8600 and subsequent configuring in the tier portal. The sequence is as follows. You have already installed the PSU 8600 in your tier portal project as a hardware support package, and you now start to transfer it from the hardware catalog to the editor. In the second step, you assign the PSU 8600 to an S7 controller in the editor. Finally, you add a buffer module to the PSU 8600. Click the play button in the player for a detailed view of the insertion of the PSU 8600 into the tier portal. Simulation takes place without any spoken commentary. You can pause the simulation and move backwards and forwards within it. After the PSU-8600 and an associated buffer module have been integrated into the TIA project, the PSU-8600 must be parameterized. Parameterization takes place here via the properties of the PSU-8600 and from there via the General tab. The following parameter assignments are necessary. In the first step, select the PSU-8600 by clicking on the graphic in the editor. To change the name of the device, select the Properties tab in the Device Data area, and then select General in the General area. Assign the name of the PSU 8600 in the relevant field. In our example, we use the name PSU underscore 1. For the Profinet interface, you can adapt the IP address of the device accordingly in the Ethernet address area. In the Device Configuration area, you can connect the outputs required in your application and set the associated parameters. Set a check mark in the relevant checkbox to connect the output. Depending on the connected device, you can also change the set point for the output voltage here. As most devices in industrial applications have a 24 volt supply, this value is the default. In addition, you can set the response threshold of the output current and its pre warning level here. If the PSU 8600 is to operate within the scope of Profi Energy, you can set this under the selection of the same name. As soon as you set a check mark in the relevant checkbox, the parameters can be modified. However, you should consult a suitably qualified specialist for this purpose. In addition, you can activate the PSU 8600 web server. The web server is deactivated as the default. Set a check mark to activate it. After you have adapted all the parameters, save the project in the tier portal. In the delivery state of the PSU 8600, only the factory settings are loaded. For this reason, the Profinet device name must be assigned to the PSU 8600 before use. Initially, you are in the device view of the PSU 8600. To assign a name, work through the following steps. First, Open the Assign Device Name dialog. Assign the Profinet device name within the screen form. Then select the type and the PGPC interface. Finally, select the corresponding PSU8600 device from the list. Click the Play button in the player for a detailed view of the name assignment of the PSU8600 in the tier portal. Simulation takes place without any spoken commentary. You can pause the simulation and jump backwards and forwards.
capable of downloading the parameters is extremely simple, and the download can be carried out in two basic steps. The graphic below briefly explains this principle. You then have the option of following this procedure in the TIA portal. Initially, the configuration data are transferred by the programming device from step 7 to the controller. This is initiated by the configuring engineer. The controller then transfers these data automatically to the PSU 8600. This is the basic principle of downloading the parameters. Download of the parameters in the TIA portal is completed by the following steps. Initially, you must open the Extended Download dialog of the controller. In this dialog, you set the interface parameters. Then you select the controller from the list. Now start the download. Now stop the controller and complete the download. Click the Play button in the player for a detailed view of downloading the parameters of the PSU 8600 in the tier portal. Simulation takes place without any spoken commentary. You can pause the simulation and jump backwards and forwards. For diagnostics and maintenance purposes, you can use free-of-charge faceplates which allow you to display information about the status and alarms. For example, you call up information about the status of the power supply, and you can display the device information, track the progress of the output currents in the trend chart, or have access to the alarms display. You have option of detecting the status of the controller and the PSU 8600 in the TIA portal. You can also make diagnoses in the event of faults. To do so, change to the Network View tab in the Editor window. Then switch both devices online using the Connect Online button. Either the PSU 8600 or the S7-1500 must be selected for this purpose. The status of the S7-1500 and the PSU-8600 are displayed. The green check mark indicates that both devices are working problem-free. In the event of a fault, the relevant fault messages are displayed in the lower window on the Device Information tab. You can also display diagnoses about fault messages via the web server. The web server must be activated for this purpose. After entering the IP address of the PSU 8600 in the address line of Internet Explorer, a page with login information appears. Log in here with admin and use the password admin. In the login window, you have the option of viewing the alarms or operating data of the PSU 8600, the individual outputs and the add-on modules used. Let's now consider a possible fault in the form of a short circuit in one of the connected loads of the PSU 8600. All outputs have integral overload protection with individually adjustable current threshold. As the voltage and current of each output are captured constantly, faults in individual outputs caused by a short circuit can be detected by the PSU 8600 and selectively shut down. The display of your faceplates shows you the following. As soon as a short circuit has been registered, the affected output of the PSU 8600 is shut down and this is indicated by a red alarm box. In the trend chart, it can be seen that the output current of output 2 suddenly drops and this is represented by the blue line. This shows the time of shutdown in the event of a short circuit.
The output current of output 1 remains unaffected by this, and this is represented by the black line. This shows the selective shutdown of individual outputs. Under alarms, you can see the exact time of day and the status. Further, the fault scenarios that are reported and represented in a similar way are listed below. Buffer module not available. This fault is reported if a buffer module is not available when an attempt is made to access it. Either the module with the requested number is not connected, or communication with the module to be accessed has failed. Buffer mode is not possible. If this message is received, the settings, wiring and fuse must be checked. Incorrect software update. In this case, the update file is incorrect, damaged or obsolete. Device temperature critical. This message is displayed if temperatures inside the device reach the limit range because the device could exit the permissible operating range. Overcurrent at the PSU 8600 output. In this case, the output current of the PSU 8600 is higher than the set value. You can find other fault scenarios, as well as detailed information and detailed product descriptions of the PSU 8600, in the relevant manual. Which of the listed benefits of the SITOP PSU 8600 power supply system are correct? What is the correct sequential order for engineering the SITOP PSU 8600? Why does the name have to be assigned to the SITOP PSU 8600? What are the main points that you have learned in this chapter? Take a little time to review the main aspects.